HP shrimp. Here it is. Um, as you can tell, I have something run down. You can zoom in there. Hi, look at that. Test PC. 8 gigabytes of RAM. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to change the RAM in a HP Stream laptop. It's fairly simple, and these laptops are fairly easy to uh, upgrade uh, certain components. So let's get to it straight away. First thing you have to do is take off your little rubber pieces. On mine, they're a little fucked up. Just ignore it. It's fine. This is just one of my example computers. But. Then you're going to reveal eight Phillips zero screws. You're going to go ahead and get your bit driver. You can use an electric screwdriver or just a normal screwdriver like I have right here. And it does the exact same thing. You can get these screwdrivers basically anywhere. I put a link in the description for one on Amazon. Uh, they're fairly cheap and I've had the, like, I'm pretty sure I bought my first pair for about 10 bucks and it's lasted a very long time. I just now have to replace. This is a brand new set I'm using from a Canadian brand, Mastercraft, which you can also get, which I'll put the link in the description if you guys would want that. I'll also put in the description this electric bit driver, which I'll use for this last screw. These are good for taking out screws, not putting them in, so don't put them in. Okay. Now that all your screws are out, make sure to put them inside of a safe spot. Some type of screw organizer will work. Something like this. And just set them aside. Because we won't need that right now. The next thing we're going to be doing is separate panels. Guitar picks will work. I've used these in the future. As you can tell, they're pretty beat. You can use guitar picks or if you have a plastic pry tool, this also will work. Um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to laptop and you're going to go right here. There's a little scene. You have like a lighter blue and then you have obviously the matter blue inside the keyboard section. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your plastic pry tool, press down on the glossy side and shove it in. So you're kind of going like this, but also pushing down with the tool. And here it is with a guitar pick. You're just gonna go stick it in the crack, like that, and push up. After that is completed, you're kind of just free to go all the way around and pop up all the clips. Mine are obviously way, are gonna be way looser than yours, just because this, again, this is like a test bench. Now that all clips have been kind of pulled up, you're gonna flip open, flip over the laptop and the panel should come off. Now that the computer's open, you can see your battery, main board, RAM, and your speaker, as long as your trackpad and keyboard. First thing before we even touch anything on this computer, make sure this battery is unplugged. The battery unplug connector is right here. And you just wanna simply get these little little uh, ears on the connector and just push them back. You can use your fingernail or you can use your plastic pry tool. You're going to get this connector and set it aside and make sure it doesn't touch anything around the board. Now that that is done, you'll see two little ears on your RAM connector as well as your RAM module. To separate this, you're going to want to get your fingers and grab the ears and push them towards the right and left. So for example, you're going to basically, for this finger, you want to go that way, this one you want to go that way. I'll show you. Like that. The RAM module comes flinging back up and you can simply just pull it out. And uh, that's about it. That's all you have to do to change this memory. It's very simple and to reinstall the memory it goes as follows. You're going to get your memory, make sure the short end and the long end are in the right orientation. If they're not, they literally won't fit. As you can tell, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. So make sure they're the right orientation and put it in at about a 45 degree angle and push into the slot. Don't force it in but push it in so you don't see any more of the, uh, the the plating onto the pins and simply push down and pull towards you and it'll give you a satisfying click that's all you have to do after that is completed you have completely changed your memory next and final step is to put the battery connector back inside of its home line up the plug with the connector and s slide it into spot Feel free to use a plastic pry tool at any time to maneuver it in. The last thing to do is to put the case on, the back panel, sorry, clip it on your charger cable and plug it into your charger slot. You're simply just going to press power button. Okay. Now that you guys can see my screen, oh, that's weird. Uh, we are going to go open task manager and as you can tell right here, 
7.7 gigabytes. Now that we know the computer fully turned on, we have to put our screws back in. So for this purpose, you're gonna wanna use a handheld screwdriver. You're not gonna wanna use anything other than a handheld screwdriver just in case you strip these screws. So to screw them in, you're simply just gonna turn counterclockwise. You're just, or clockwise, sorry, because you are tightening them in, they're not reverse thread. And you're gonna to wanna to tighten them down in kind of a crisscross pattern. And for the adhesive rubber strips, this is a little bit tricky. If your adhesive hasn't, uh, it still still has a little bit of tack on them. You want to line it up to the farthest corner. You want to push it to that corner, and you're gonna just want to spread it upon. And if it, it reaches a dead end, you're simply just gonna want to lift it up like that and stick it down. It should be all even. That's how you guys change your RAM on your HP Stream 14. If you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like and please leave a comment if you do have any questions regarding this computer or any other computer related questions. I'll, uh, I'm here to help you. So uh, let me know and uh, take it easy guys.